What a day for the dryer to pack in. Granny Connor used to call that the winter edge. Why? Well, because apparently years ago in the summer they used to hang the clothes out on edges to dry. <laughs> Did you book an appointment? Yeah, yeah, three o'clock this afternoon. Why is he going to the doctor's? Well, because he had a shock last night and he's tired, so... You don't go to the doctor's because you're tired. <clears throat> what did the police say? They said they'd found the car abandoned on the Wirral. Do they think that it was Dad's fault? Not at all, not for one minute. It was not your Dad's fault, OK? And your mum was a bit the hero. <clears throat> she can tell you all about that after school. Right, come on, darling. You go get your coat on and I will walk you in. Please try and get some sleep, OK? Even if it's just an hour in bed, it might make all the difference. So, uh, are you two, uh... Yeah, think so, eh, Steve? <laughs> Could knock his block off. No end to his talents, Steve. Touch the hem of your skirt. Yeah? Well, Dad is making too much fuss. You've got a visitor. Go and make it a brew, will you, Todd? No, well, I'd rather stay and watch. Oi! Hi. Hey. How are you bearing up? Well, you know, I'm still miffed about my boots. Still? Yeah, they weren't just any old boots. They were my favourite pair. Which one was it again, left or right? It was the left. Oh, maybe I can borrow the right one. Uh, you said you'd buy me a new pair. Did I really say that? Oh, I must have been delayed. So is it broken? No, no, I'm just I'm wearing this for a laugh. Anyone but you, Trace. Yeah. I know. You know, if we were Chinese, I, I'd owe you everything. I mean, I'd completely be in debt to you. Oh, really? Well, in that case, gong hei fat choi. I mean it, thank you. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Steve McDonald. I missed all the signs. Maybe there weren't any. Oh, come on. The way he'd been behaving for weeks. Months, that idiotic car, all the business with streetcars, his total indifference to every single thing in his life, including me. Maybe it's just a bit convenient, you know, after the fact. There were bright flashing lights and I missed them. Yeah, well, maybe you were too busy being dumped, you know, or ignored or taken for granted. I mean, Michelle, we're all depressed after last night. No. Yeah. Should be thanking our lucky stars at you more than most. I'm thanking my lucky stars that Tracy didn't fall to pieces. Because otherwise, I'd be lying at the bottom of a quarry right now, you know? I mean, people were trapped in that bus, Michelle. Me included. But you sat there with Steve, indulging him. He needed me. I needed you. Tracy Flaming Barlow had to save my life. Look, I am sorry, OK? But I thought you were already out. And to promise to buy a new pair of boots. No, I'm taking him to doctors this afternoon. <sighs> Shell. He messed up over and over again. He betrayed his staff, he stole from him. He let us all down last night. You know, maybe if he was that ill, he shouldn't have been driving last night at all. I'm sorry, my heart won't bleed for Steve McDonald. Gosh, you know the real tragedy of it all. What? You can get to pick up my award, did I? <laughs> 